second to approve the minutes as presented. Question on motion. Are you not all in favor of the motion? Signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed nay. Motion carried unanimous. And number two is to receive a place on the file of drainage repairs. Those in court, we have none at this point. And number three is to receive a place on the file of employment of Tammy Birdsell, permanent part time health union for Western County Health Department at a rate of $13.50 per hour, effective September 5th, 2012. Chairman, move item three. I'll second that. Move second to receive a place on the file of employment for Tammy Birdsell. Question on the motion? Comments? All favor the motion. Signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. And number four is to approve, approve the wage increase for David Kraft, correctional officer, to $14.74 per hour, effective September 12, 2012. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to approve the wage increase for David Kraft. And I'll second that. Thank you. To move second, we approve the wage increase for David Kraft. Question on the motion. Hearing none, I'll take the motion. Signal by just saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion carries unanimously. Item number five is to adopt a resolution supporting an application for the Iowa Great Places grant for trail signage. Chairman, I'll move item five. Perfect. I'll second that. Move second. We adopt the resolution. Is there a comment about that? Or do you there is. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Perfect. Good morning. Um, th what this is, is in 2010, Webster and Hamilton County went together and uh, applied for the Great Places designation and were selected. So annually, there's a grant round go around that, that comes about for those places that were designated. Um, what this one is, is it's part of the um, Vision Iowa project that we've been working on, the trail program. Um, basically, this application will be run through the Community Foundation, but will be in a joint effort between Webster and Hamilton County. Um, it'll, it's to install roughly 14 of the informational kiosks along the trail system and, and uh, important areas throughout the community. So, it's roughly a $100,000 project. 70% of it, um, if we're successful, will be paid by Great Places, and the other 30% will come from the Community Foundation where the private dollars are being raised for that overall trail project. So only cost to the county is our in-kind uh, installation of those kiosks that would go on Webster County property. Okay. Any questions? We're responsible, for the, we're responsible for the maintenance of those after we will be. Is this, are, are this, is the signage, uh, all designed under some sort of uh, master trail signage plan? It is. State, or is it just for this region? Just for Webster County, actually. Well, Webster County and Fort Dodge went together and put together a, um, as part of this project, started out with a trail uh, wayfinding signage package. During that process, we decided to um, broaden it into community wayfinding as well. So we're just finishing up the, the package, this plan. So within the next month, we should have that final package put together. But it's signage from community wayfinding, so as you're driving into town, direction errors to tell you where and distances to places, but it also includes the, the trail uh, wayfinding signage as well. So it's a family of signs that goes from a large kiosk that, that we're talking about here that are about 12 feet in height, run about four to $5,000 a piece. So they are a large, a large piece that have a huge map to show the overall trail system, where the community attractions are, and those will be placed at a variety of locations throughout the community. I thought Lady Bird Johnson had us take all those off the highway system. I don't know. That was before your time. <laughs> <laughs> These won't be on the, the main she, highway system. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Yeah. So is these, um, the signs that are in Webster County, is the design on those similar to what's going to be in Hamilton County? Yeah, it'll be the same, actually. The only thing that'll change are the local information that's on the panels themselves, but the kiosks will have a similar look. Mm -hmm. And that was our, you know, our intent when we went into this application was maybe a joint effort of marketing of our natural resources through both counties um, to keep a consistent look. And our, our theme at that time was where the rivers run wild, so you wouldn't know if this year. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was the theme. So to keep that consistent theme too, that'll be that'll be located on there. Obviously, the Creek Places logo will be on there as well if, if funding is secured through this. Okay. This is our first attempt at a grant since we've been designated. So, mm -hmm. is there money? There's a million dollars in there to be split up amongst the, the places that have been designated at this point. Okay. Any further questions? Hearing none, all favor the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you very much. Item number 
six is to approve the following purchase offers for the Webster County Flood Buyout Grant Program. 1808 Scenic Drive, $12,470. 2209 160th Street, $82,550. 2205 160th Street, $149,140. 291st, uh, 160th Street, $22,260. 2285, 160th Street, $84,934. 45 cents and 2201 160th Street, 30,000 even. Entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'll move by the number six. I'll second that motion. We move up second. We approve purchases just read. Any comments uh, about this particular item? Yeah, you said 2285 is 21. 22, pardon me? You said 2285 is 2185. Uh, I see. Just check, see whether you're paying attention. Okay. And I'd like to, I'd like to um, assure the public that uh, these dollars are coming from the FEMA grant monies and the uh, community, community block grant monies so that there is no cost to the Webster County taxpayers on this buyout program. And it looks like we've got uh, five out of these six are down in the green edition. Looks like one is down. With that, this should hopefully bring to conclusion for these people that uh, whole process of the uh, buyout program. And this is the line chair. Uh, yes, I believe there's what two or three appeals. Okay. We have some questions if there's any money left if somebody else can get put in the program, and that's not the case. That's correct. Okay. Does they have a chance to get in at the beginning of that's it? Okay. Any further questions or comments concerning this action? 